at Sketchy, when we say soccer, you say sarcoidosis. Though we don't really know what causes it, we do know that it involves a bunch of non-caseating granulomas popping up in multiple organs throughout the body. However, it's the pulmonary component of sarcoidosis caused by granulomas in the lungs and hilar lymph nodes that cause the initial clinical manifestations of disease in many patients. On the inside of a granuloma is a collection of macrophages, or in the world of Sketchy, a collection of macro cages, represented here at the sideline by the cages of soccer balls. Think back to those Sketchy micro videos for a second. Mycobacterium tuberculosis also causes granulomas in the lung, but those ones have that gross cheese-like necrosis in the center. So broken down necrotic macrophages were represented by broken down cages. These cages are not broken. That means non-caseating. Sarcoidosis is actually a pretty common disorder, accounting for about 25% of chronic interstitial lung disease cases. In the U.S., sarcoidosis is seen more commonly in African Americans, 10 times more frequently than in the white population, in fact. The disease is also more common in women than men, and incidence peaks between 20 to 39 years old. So whenever you think of sarcoidosis, think of a young female African American soccer player. Interestingly, sarcoidosis is actually more often found in non-smokers. Weird, right? Look, I know this is street soccer and all, and the first rule of street soccer is no rules, but please refrain from smoking on the field. All right, before the match starts, let's quickly go over the pathogenesis of sarcoidosis. Simply put, this is a disorder in immune regulation. Some unknown environmental antigen, mold, pollen, pesticides, a virus? Something causes your CD4 helper T cells to go crazy and launch a cell-mediated immune response. Some people may be genetically predisposed to trigger this response, and research suggests that mutations in the MHC genes or certain HLA genotypes may be to blame. Either way, all these activated helper T cells get a little overexcited, release all kinds of cytokines, and activate macrophages. In multiple focal areas, these inflammatory cells and cytokines form little mosh pits of inflammation, with macrophages at the center, and you're left with non-caseating granulomas. At Sketchy, CD4 helper T cells are represented by helper T cell squires, because CD4 cells are kind of the support staff for the real fighters of the immune system. And in this scene, squires are the mascot of the local street soccer team. Look, it was either that or the goal-seeking missiles, okay? And Squires just chants better, you know? Well, underneath the sign, we've got a kid shooting that last bit of backwash from his water bottle into his mouth. You see that? That's our symbol for bronchioalveolar lavage, or BAL, a technique that involves squirting some fluid into a small part of the patient's lung and then collecting the fluid for examination. 